Hey everyone, Wayne here from Zenata Consulting. In this tutorial, I'm coming back at you with another Zoho Campaigns tip. Inside workflows, you may have noticed there are some limitations when it comes to exporting some of the data you want from those emails you send out. Let me go ahead and we're gonna focus on the trigger on email action inside this tutorial and how it can solve as a workaround for some of those limitations inside workflows. Before I jump in though, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started. So to get started, let's go ahead and head over to Zoho Campaigns. Inside of Automation, we'll go ahead and choose this 10-day welcome series I just added some content to and activate it. And if we look, we have our newsletter list, which since this is a demo account, we just have one contact in. However, let's say there was a thousand people and they go through this workflow and get these three emails. I have labeled uh, email one, email two, and email three for the 10-day welcome series. It's always good to kind of label these messages. I'll go ahead and click inside of one up here so you can identify them later and what I'm about to show you, whether it's inside CRM or the process, the on trigger on email action I'm about to go over. The reason I'm showing you this though is to kind of give you an example of why some people might be skipped. Uh, let's say we created this workflow. We have a segment with a thousand people and we forgot to map any of the contacts in here associated with this topic. So they're gonna be skipped since they're not associated with this topic, which I have covered in another video on on how to associate your contacts with a topic. So we went ahead and we turned this on and one of the issues is there's no one in this report yet, but let's say there were, let's say 750 people got skipped for example. And we want those 750 people in here, or at least to get the next email. Well, they're gonna continue being skipped because they're not associated with that topic. Or maybe they got associated with non-marketing instead of marketing by accident, and we need to update them to marketing. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can create an other workflow to fix this issue we've just created. Let's go back and we'll go ahead and create another workflow and call it on email action um, tutorial. And we're gonna go ahead and use the trigger on email action. So by doing this, we can go ahead and now, let's focus for now on the, the skipped part of things. So for workflows, this is where it comes in handy, labeling your emails properly, 10 day email series. We wanna do the first one here. And now we can go ahead and choose skipped. And if there was like a survey inside of there, we could see if the survey was opened or if the survey was completed. Uh, so there's a lot more metrics you could capture that you can't really export with the built-in features of the workflow, what they present you inside of Zoho campaigns. So we can go ahead and hit the skips, hit save. And now what we can do is we can go to our actions here and we can add them to a list. So now all of these contacts that were skipped that we otherwise didn't have a way to export, we can export them by adding them to a list inside of Zoho campaigns. And we'll call this email one 10 day skipped contacts. Okay, and now what we can do is we can close this workflow and we've essentially added all of the skipped emails by using the on email action to the workflow. But extremely powerful function here. And as you can see, you can use it for specific emails or any email campaign. You can see if you know any email campaign, a survey was started or a survey was completed. So maybe you just have one survey that goes out through various campaigns and you want to create a trigger or workflow as soon as that survey started or completed. Maybe there's a time limit, you know, maybe they started it but never completed it. So you want to, you know, send them a little nudge with a logical statement if not completed. Extremely powerful function, uh, often overlooked and not used enough in my opinion, but I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps our channel grow. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below. And we'll do our best to answer them on our weekly show, Azaz Ask Sonata Anything About Soho. Until next time, have a great day.